Hey everyone, this is Tim. This is a surprisingly beautiful day in Vancouver. Uh, the sun is out and there's no rain. So thank you so much for joining and I hope you're all doing well. And thank you so much for all the comments and the well wishes. And thank you for all the New Year greetings from everyone and a happy Lunar New Year to you all. And I'm pretty excited today because we get to try a celebratory Chinese New Year dinner with lots of food and lots of dishes. And I'm actually quite appreciative uh, that we get to do this this year because with all the no social gathering rules in place, it's really hard to find enough people to eat all that food and enjoy everyone's company. So I'm pretty grateful because a while back, I visited a restaurant called Street Auntie where they serve up dish after dish after dish of seemingly endless great Chinese food. And I'm pretty grateful because they actually called up and invited me as their guest for their, uh, to see what they're cooking up for their Chinese New Year celebration. So uh, I can't wait to give that a try. So really grateful for their kind offer. And I really understand how hard people are working, especially in restaurants now. So I don't take any free meals, but uh, so there was a lot of bickering, friendly bickering back and forth. Uh, so with all that sorted out, uh, I'm getting hungry and I hope you're getting hungry. I can't wait to see what they're cooking up. So uh, come on, uh, let's eat. All right, just like I remembered it, really nice. All the ingredients and I think that's my spot over there. All right, so I got an amazing table from Sam and I can't wait to see the folks again. Hi, Yuina. Hello. Great Hello. to see you again. Good to see you. Happy Chinese New Year. Uh, happy Chinese New Year to you. So we started with some flat plate. Oh, wow. What is this? This one is a uh, non-alcohol rosé. Oh, nice. We don't have any collection yet. All so right. Cheers. Mm. Really nice way to start, and uh, I think this is a glass of non-alcoholic rosé, really good. And I think it's a, it's a dry new year. So let's take a look at their menu this time. Alright, so uh, kind of a nice tasting menu with many courses, and I can't wait to try all the many little dishes, and there are many of them. So with the year of the ox, I think they start off with an ox tongue. It'll be interesting to taste something that can taste you back. All right, so I can't wait to give it a try. And oh, and I see Yuina already coming out. I think that's going to be the first dish. Hi. Oh, hi. oh this is wonderful. Thank you. Oh, so what we, is this? This, one, this year is the year of the ox. So yeah. basically, it's an um, ox tongue salad. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you so thank much. You. I can't wait to try the ox tongue. Let's dig in. Oh, and I see some peppers and scallions or chives. Let's mix them up. Let's dig in. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. Not as spicy as I thought. Nice chilies and a little bit of peanut. Mm. Really nice, and that sauce is so savory. Mm. Mm. Oh, thank you, Yina. Thank you. I remember this. It's kind of like a... Dim sum basket you had the last time. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that is a pepper chicken xiao long bao, which I've never tried before, but it looks quite plump. This, I recall, this is a sea urchin dumpling, really tasty. And then this xiao mai looks a little bit chubbier than last time. No complaints there. And I think it's filled with sticky rice. So let's give the xiao long bao a try. It's always a high risk maneuver with the xiao long bao. You don't want it to burst. Mm. Oh, lots of juice. Mm, very good. Mm. It certainly gets pretty messy, but that's half the fun. And along with something new, I think we have something old. And if old is a sea urchin dumpling, no complaints there. Let's give that a try. Oh, just exactly like how I remembered it. Really rich seafood flavor, and that uni is just so intense. Mm, very good. Mm. What an easy finish. It's so succulent. That's actually almost like a soup dumpling. And I gotta try that little chubby dumpling. 
Cheers. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. It's actually a vegetarian dumpling and no complaints. And it's filled with sticky rice and mushroom. Very aromatic, mm, very flavorful. Mm. So once again, that was an easy finish. And I can't wait to see the next few courses, but I'm kind of curious as to what they're cooking up in the back of the kitchen. Wonder if we can take a look. Hi, Chef Steven, how are you? Chef Ricky, oh. Hi, Yoon. Hey, Chef Ricky. Oh, it was everything so good. So what are you cooking up? He's gonna cook the tiger prawn for you right now. All right. The golden butter. He will uh -huh. show you everything and uh -huh. all the secrets. Oh. <laughs> Ready. Oh, wow. Oh, a little bit of butter. Oh, what is that? Is that the salted duck egg yolk or? That's a secret recipe. We're not supposed to film and talk about. All right. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, a little bit more. Oh. My goodness. Oh my gosh. Looks beautiful. Thank you, Chef Ricky. Thank you, Chef Steven. All right. So I'm back at the table and I can't wait to try the prawn. Oh, thank you, Yuina. Thank you, my pleasure. Oh my goodness. So there's no way this is a chopstick type situation. I think I'm gonna use a knife and fork. All right, so let's cut into it. Oh my goodness. Oh, perfectly cooked. I think we'll grab a curry leaf and some shards. Hmm. I have never had such a big shrimp before. It's almost larger than some of the lobsters I've had. Mm. Perfectly cooked, nice and fresh, and uh, and those golden shards of crispy goodness are uh, so flavorful, really intense. Mm. Hard to describe. Kind of like a duck egg yolk and the curry leaf. Such a nice pop. Mm. Look at this abalone. Three days to create. Glad I didn't have to do it and really glad I get to enjoy all the three days of effort. But I think we need to dig in to the lotus chip first. Can't wait to give that a try. All right. And it's looking like it's coming with the oyster. No problem there. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Very crispy. And that dried oyster is so flavorful. And I guess the flavor gets more intense. Mm. Very good. And let's try that abalone. And as Yuina says, the most uh, important thing is the sauce. Let's give that a try. Mm. Lots of depth of flavor. Mm. Interesting texture. Well, abalone is, uh, I guess, known as a delicacy for um, for New Year's and celebration. Not really my thing, but very tasty. It's mainly the flavor and the sauce. Mm. I shouldn't be wearing anything white. Oh, thanks, Chef Ricky. Oh, facing that with nice oil there. I can't wait to dig into that halibut. Look at that. Nice and flaky. And we'll get a little bit of sambal. Look at that. Can't wait to give that a try. Mmm. That is so nice and delicate. Just breaking apart in the mouth. And that sambal adds a nice little kick. Nice and crispy on the outside. Tender and juicy on the inside. A really good broccoli sauce. What a nice way to enjoy your vegetables. Mm. Very good. 
Oh my goodness, what is this? This is our uh, fried sticky rice. Oh. So they gave me one of these and I think uh, it's a scoop and serve. Really nice sticky rice, which you can just pick up with the chopsticks. Mm. Very flavorful, nice chewy texture. Fried sticky rice is certainly a better version of the egg fried rice. Mm. Okay. No, no Uncle Roger comment. Lots of little nuggets of meat and mushrooms and eggs. Nice that it's fried and not oily. And a nice chewy texture. Mm. Very good. The sticky rice is so good, but it's amazing how all the little dishes sneak up on you. I am getting so full and I hate to say it, I don't think I can eat another bite. I gotta leave room for dessert. So I guess in, as tradition, leave a little bit behind and in this case, I'm leaving a little bit more behind. Oh, thank you, Yuina. That was thank delicious. You. I'm so glad that's near the end. I couldn't eat another bite. Thank you. Uh, we actually have more dishes ready for you, if you would like. We'll have something new today. Oh. Too full? <laughs> uh, well, I'm pretty full, but uh, I can't resist. Sounds good. All right. I'll let it hit you know. Oh, thank you. thank you. So that's really kind of them, and I just can't resist. And I forgot since last time, I believe if you're still hungry, they keep feeding you till you're full. Even though I'm full, I'm just kind of curious to see what other dishes they have. Oh, oh my the, goodness. The okay, Chiu Chao Fan Go. Oh, wow, with peanuts and pork and. Yeah, yeah, and the celery. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, that's not the chicken bun. Oh, and the chicken bun, very nice. All right, so that's pretty generous, and uh, I think I might have made the uh, mistake of being curious. But nevertheless, let's give this a try, and hopefully, we'll still have room for dessert. Mm. Mm. Nice and hot and gingery, mm. very savory. I'm gonna really try hard to finish this up and I can't wait to check out what they're doing for the desserts. Oh, thank you, Sam. My pleasure. Enjoy your dessert. Great. Here's your cookie cake. Oh, okay. Uh, red cake and then the goji berry. Oh, thank you. Let me show you what we have. The almond milk, and then along with the almond milk goes the sweet rice dumpling. I think it's filled with something, so I can't wait to check it out. This is a palate cleanser that's much needed. There's so many flavors. And of course, some nice truffles and a koi fish. And those are the grapes covered in this nice crispy sugar shattering coating. And then behind, not sure if you can see way far back, but that is one of my favorite desserts, a fortune cookie cake. So I'm gonna try the palate cleanser and I think that's made with the tea next to it. Let's give this a try. Mmm. That is so refreshing, just like a palate cleanser ought to be. The jelly just kind of crumbles in the mouth. Lots of aromatic tea flavor and a little bit fruity. So with that, I think we need to try the sweet rice dumpling and the almond milk. Oh, overflowing. And let's give this a try. Mmm. Very good. It is filled with this nice, sweet, smoky, black sesame paste. Mm. Mm. And that almond milk is so aromatic. Mm. Mm. Oh, hey, Ina. Hi. Oh, I'm struggling with the desserts. They're so good, and I only have so much room. Thank you. Now I can enjoy some milk you in it. Oh, wow. So, Milty. Yeah, this one is the poor earth. Uh, I use this poor tea from my hometown. It's seven years old. No. I make this milk tea for you. All right, so I can never say no to milk tea. Uh, let's reach over and give it a try. Cheers. Oh, that is so refreshing. This is a warm milk tea. 
And as Yelena mentioned, it's a seven-year-old pura tea with lots of warming spices, much needed. Mm. Mm. I can't wait to try the fortune cookie cake, my favorite cake of all time. And we're just gonna do a little bit of rearranging. All right, so this is pretty incredible. Let me show you the size of the cake. And I think we'll need to dig in. Can never get tired of the cake. So many textures, nice fruity center, and a nice crispy crumb, and then that mousse just envelops the mouth, really floral, mm, very fruity as well. Very good. I think it's gonna be a challenge finishing it, but uh, hopefully uh, we can pull through. Mm. That's so good. And again, really light, so it's so easy to finish. So this is Street Auntie with the endless dish after dish after dish of amazing goodness. And really appreciative of the hardworking folks here in the kitchen. And thank you again so much for joining. This is kind of the uh, Chinese New Year or the Lunar New Year celebration. And uh, wishing you uh, good fortune, good health, and above all, happiness to you all. So until we see each other again, hope you're doing well, hope you're eating well. And uh, take care and God bless. Bye-bye.